Hey everybody, welcome back. Today is the 18th day of Lent. And today we remember Jesus um, calling his disciple Matthew. Um, as you may have remembered sort of early in the building of our tree, Jesus um, called certain fishermen. And today we see how he is continuing to build his team. And today he goes after somebody who others thought maybe he wasn't qualified. So let's uh, read along and see what God's word has to say. I'm in Matthew chapter 9, and um, this is immediately following the place where we read from yesterday about Jesus healing a paralytic. So he's just left that, um, that area, and now he has um, gone into a different place. So I'm starting at verse 9. As Jesus passed on from there, he saw a man called Matthew sitting at the tax booth. And he said to him, follow me. And Matthew rose and followed him. Well, as Jesus reclined at a table in the house, behold, many tax collectors and sinners came and were reclining with Jesus and his disciples. And when the Pharisees saw this, they said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? But when he heard this, he said, Those who are well are have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. Go and learn what this means. I desire mercy and not sacrifice. For I came not to call the righteous, but sinners. You see, Jesus had to make them understand. He came for those who were broken. And only those who are truly in need are the ones who come to Jesus. Because they realize they have a need for him. You know, Jesus said, you know, I desire mercy. God wants mercy faithfulness. He wants true believers to come because they truly believe. They believe that he can give them and meet their need. So today, our symbol is a money bag and coins because Matthew was a tax collector, and that's why people did not really like him because his job was to go take their money, and everybody wants to keep their money. And so tax collectors kind of got a bad reputation around town. Um, some of them were not honest, and that probably lent to uh, people not really liking them. In general, you may have seen yesterday, I uh, had a little tree crash. My tree got a little heavy. So I've added another branch here and a bigger vessel to hold all my stuff. And so here we are with our coins. Thanks for joining me, friends. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Hello, friends. Welcome back. Today is the 16th day of Lent, and today we remember a super crazy story. So yesterday, you might remember, we talked about Jesus um, calming the storm just by his command. Well, so Jesus has come across that area, that body of water that he was on that boat, and he has landed um, on, on the other side of this water in an area, in a city, um, uh, an area where it is, there's a, a place where there are tombs. Uh, it's kind of like a cemetery. And Jesus has a super interesting interaction with a couple of people who are uh, having some issues. So we are in Matthew chapter 8, and we're going to start at verse 28. And when he came to the other side, to the country of the Gadarenes, two demon-possessed men met him, coming out of the tombs, so fierce that no one could pass that way. I mean, they were kind of creeping people out, I think. And behold, they cried out, What have you to do with us, O Son of God? Have you come here to torment us before the time? Now, a herd of pigs was feeding at some distance from them. And the demons begged them, begged him, saying, If you cast us out, send us away into the herd of pigs. And he said to them, Go. 
So they came out and they went into the pigs. And, and behold, the whole herd rushed down the steep bank into the sea and drowned in the waters. The herdsmen fled and going into the city, they told everything, especially what had happened to the demon-possessed men. And behold, all the city came out to meet Jesus. And, and when they saw him, they begged him to leave their region. I mean, everyone was just like blown away by, Jimin, by Jesus' ability to cast these demons out and into the pigs. And the pigs tormented the pig, uh, the demons tormented the pigs so much that they ran into the sea and drowned. And again, it was by a word. Go. So, again, we see the incredible power of Jesus and his um, power over evil itself. And so, today, our symbol is a pig. Now, we had trouble finding a cute little pink pig. Um, and what, the suggested symbol is a cliff, like, that the pigs fell off of. But I really like the idea of using a pig because I think pigs are precious. And uh, we couldn't find a precious little pig, but we did find this guy. Maybe you're familiar with him. And he looks kind of ferocious with his horn, so maybe it's appropriate. Um, Mr. Pig is going to go on our tree. And I'm just going to hook his little tail. <laughs> right there. Awesome. All right. Thanks, guys, for joining us. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow.